with the real estate market blazing white hot for the last couple of years, my real estate photography and video business grew exponentially over the last about 18 months. And there's one thing that's been by my side almost the entire time, and that's the Lawa 12 millimeter F 2.8 D dreamer or zero distortion lens. I know that this review is pretty late to the game, but most of the conversation around this lens is well over two years old, so I wanted to bring a little bit of new life to this older lens. And considering the incredible price that this lens is going for right now, I think it really does deserve its own video. Now, I started out with a Rokinon 14mm uh, f2.8 uh, autofocus lens, and while it's a great lens, I found it to just have a little bit too harsh color rendering, and it just felt very digital and crunchy to me and I had to spend a lot of time straightening out edges and such. The Lawa, however, is a rectilinear design, meaning that it minimizes distortion on the ends of your image uh, to near zero. Of course, when you're focused in tight or something along those lines, you're still going to see some elements of distortion, but for real estate in particular, for wide spaces, it's pretty much indistinguishable. The lens is fully manual and it has a beautiful metal construction that feels great in the hand and the functionality is smooth when you're turning the aperture or focus rings. It weighs at 1.34 pounds and comes with a metal pressure fit lens cap. The focus and aperture rings are solidly constructed and the aperture goes from f2.8 all the way up to f22. Being able to stop down that far helps create incredibly sharp images in both photo and video. And the minimum focus distance is around seven inches, but I don't really ever use this for anything up close. This is just for wide shots and interiors. This lens is incredibly sharp and it renders a beautiful and natural image, which I think is one of its strengths. It's wonderfully sharp at f2.8, but looks amazing outdoors at f22. Now this point I think also deserves its own video. That is to say that I never use aperture for light. And the reason is I believe that aperture is a creative choice. If I wanna shoot something at 1.4 or 2.8 or 5.6 or higher, there's a reason for it. It's how I want the image to look. Now, in this case, however, sometimes I will use that uh, aperture of f2.8 to get more light into the lens in perhaps a dark environment, a basement, something like that that I'm shooting where there just isn't enough light and I don't wanna introduce so much noise to the image by boosting the ISO too much. So I'll use aperture as a creative tool when doing something narrative, but in this case, being able to go to f2.8 with this lens has been a lifesaver in some circumstances. Some other reviews that I've watched suggest that this lens lacks character. And in my opinion, I think that's actually a strength. I work with this lens four, five, six times a week, and I love that it gives me the most natural, clean, undistorted image possible. For real estate, I want the most neutral image that I can get. I don't necessarily want the lens to impart character because for one, in photos, I wanna be able to manipulate the image and create that HDR bracketing that creates the, the look that I really, really want, the end result that I'm looking for. And that was one of the reasons why I abandoned the Rokinon in the first place was what the lens imparted to the image. Whereas with the Lawa, it's clean, it's neutral, it's incredibly sharp, and I can pretty much do what I want to to the photo and the video so that in the end, I have the image that I'm looking for. It suits my workflow incredibly well and I think is almost a perfect lens for real estate. Now that said, I have not yet used the new-ish Sony G Master 14 millimeter lens. I obviously love all of the G Master lenses. I have a number of them. They're incredible. And so I think that I'm gonna rent it and give it a try and do it side by side. The thing is that I love 12 millimeter. Some people think it's too wide, even for real estate. But in my opinion, it opens up the room. I shoot a lot of different types of houses and many of the houses I shoot are quite small, uh, or at least the rooms are small. They're older homes, homes that were built before the concept, well, before the open concept concept was a thing. And so being able to shoot at 12 millimeters with that incredibly wide, I think it's 122 degree field of view, it really imparts a sense of space to the final photo and video that I do for these properties. 
And of course, the greatest strength of this lens is its zero distortion design. Gone are the days of having to straighten out walls or windows. This lens does it all before you even take the image. And I think it's amazing. It's such an impressive part of this lens because it can be so wide yet so straight, it completely minimizes the work that you have to do in post. And so for real estate, in my opinion, I think it really represents the properties that I shoot in the best way possible. Now for the price, especially, I think that this lens can't be beat. I bought this lens for just under a thousand dollars a couple years ago, but now you can find it on Adorama or B&H for anywhere between $650 used up to about $850. And at that price, even brand new, I think it's an absolute steal. This was one of the best investments that I've made in my creative business by far. It's obviously more than paid for itself, but if you have a real estate business that has the opportunity to uh, grow as much as, I, as mine did, then an investment in a lens like this is an absolute no brainer. And especially if you're still currently using something like a 16 to 35, being able to get to 12 millimeters and the way that this lens renders images, those things alone are going to really level up your real estate game. And the truth is, I probably use this lens more than any other lens in my kit. I have never had a single issue with this lens, not once. It functions perfectly all the time, and it's really become one of my favorite lenses. It pretty much never leaves my Sony a7S III. So if you are looking for something to level up your real estate game, I could not recommend this lens enough. So with that, thank you so much for stopping by. A huge thank you to all of the subscribers and supporters of this channel. I appreciate you all so much. I'm so grateful for you all. And it's very nice to see you all again. Looking forward to seeing you again soon. And in the meantime, get out there and be creative. See you.